Hey, it's Sydney Sweeney, and I'm playing Mr. That with Variety. Sour Patch Kids or Kit Kat? You say this is easy. This is such a hard question for me. Sour Patch Kids or Kit Kats? <sighs> Sour Patch Kids. I love gummy bears, like anything gummy world I love, but Kit Kats and Twix are my two favorite chocolatey candies. Watch TV or watch a film? Ooh. I love watching TV. But I love movies too, but there's something about being able to binge and watch a bunch of episodes and just live in that story and that world for a longer amount of time. I have not watched TV in maybe a year. HGTV. <laughs> Property Brothers. <laughs> I love I love HGTV. That I will watch. I um it's just it's so nice to be able to just zone out and watch it. And I love interior designing. I love architecture. So being able to see all these cool houses, it's fun. Be asked out or ask them out. I am a helpless romantic. So of course I'd love to be asked out on like a very romantic sized way. But also if you like the person, ask them out. Your boss, you can do it. Relaxing vacation or adventurous vacation? Ooh, adventurous vacation. I love a good adventure. I love Italy. Italy is one of my favorite places in the world, but I want to explore and experience other places, but I love Italy. I really want to go to Greece. I've always wanted to go to Greece. I love Mamma Mia. Something like that it would be really fun. Skiing on the slopes or water skiing? So I slalom ski. I love to slalom ski. So that's when it's one ski and your feet are one after the other. And then I also grew up when I was on a snow ski team. So I love both, but I think that if I could, I would slalom ski every single day. So probably water ski. Play Cassie or play Olivia. Oh man. I don't know. I love all of my characters, but Cassie challenges me in so many different kinds of ways because she is such an emotionally crazy, deep character. So as an actor, that's so much fun to do and so much fun to play because you go to these places that you may never have gone to before. It's really fun challenging myself that way. And Olivia, of course, is just a fun, snarky character. But Cassie as an actor is a lot of fun to play. Driver or passenger? Oh, driver all day, any day. I love to drive. Vintage Bronco or 2023 Bronco? Ooh, vintage Bronco. I do have both, but uh, vintage Bronco is my favorite. She's my pride and joy. It was my dream car when I was little, when I was able to get one, and I just kind of put my own sweat, tears, love, all of it into it. Uh, she just, I'm really proud of her. And she's beautiful and she runs, which is really happy. <laughs> Bronco or Mustang? <sighs> Man, I have a Mustang too. I love my Bronco because my dog Tank loves my Bronco too. <laughs> and she and I go get ice cream in it all the time and it's so fun. So I'd have to say Bronco, but I love my Mustang as well. Automatic or manual? <sighs> okay, I love manual cars. It's really beautiful to be one with the vehicle, but driving in LA is so hard in a manual vehicle because people just get right up on your ass and they do not respect older cars. And my Bronco was a manual and I was driving it as a manual for a couple months and it was just, it was more dangerous than it was fun. And so I had to turn it into an automatic and my mom was very angry at me about that. So I think that if you can keep your car manual if you know how to drive it, uh, but automatic in places that might be more safe. Drive on a racetrack or go off-roading. <sighs> If the off-roading, like, are we talking like four-wheeling off-roading or are we talking I can drive like the racetrack off-roading without rules? Because it's very different. You could go four-wheeling and that's fun, tip the car, or you could go racetrack and you're just going super fast. I did the Porsche experience and you can go super, super fast. That was probably the fastest I gone. I don't know. I love four-wheeling. It's so, it's. That's what I grew up doing. That's why I wanted a Bronco so bad. On a road trip, radio or playlist? Radio. I, I suck at curating playlists. <laughs> I'm a radio person and then I'll just like change the channel. Fiction book or nonfiction? Ah, it depends on what mood I'm in. Also what I'm looking for to read. Cause right now I love reading stories that interest me as an artist. So it kind of just depends on what mood I'm in. 
I like both. You also write pretty lengthy journals for each character you play. So read a book or write a book. Ooh. Right now, read a book. Ask me in five years, my answer might, get, might change. Who knows? There's a lot of life to live. 